Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to find topic ideas using Google Autocomplete. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to find topic ideas using Google Autocomplete. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload videos on digital marketing and SEO that will help you to scale your store faster. Also, if you're interested in learning how to increase your store's conversion rate, average order value, and you're ready to start getting repeat customers, I have a free ebook available for download titled The No Fail Get More Repeat Customer System. You can find the link for the ebook in the description below. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to find topic ideas using Google Autocomplete. Uh, so Google Autocomplete is something that we've all have seen before, but we don't know the name, right? It's Google Autocomplete. That's when you're typing in uh, a word, a phrase, and then Google tries to complete it and offers different options of different results, uh, different words that people have been searching, right? So um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to type in a brand um, that I sell their products. The brand name is Luca. So I'm going to type Luca in Google. And as you can see, uh, the autocomplete shows uh, Luca Seahorse X all in one wax kit, flower power packages. Now this is showing flower power packages because um, I am logged into Google. So if we do this search incognito, I might get different results. So let's try that really quick. So as you can see, um, I get different options of um, other results. Luca Seahorse Pro, Luca Seahorse, Luca Seahorse Pro Tips, Luca Unicorn. Um, okay, so with that being said, we are looking for content ideas, right? So. Uh, the one thing you can do is you can you can add an underscore before a word like this. So we see how to clean Luca Seahorse Pro. That is something that people are searching and might be a good topic, right? You can do it at the end. You can add an underscore at the end as well. Um, you can see Luca Seahorse Pro how to use. So it's the other way around. Um, something you can also do is you can take the same brand name and put the word how before it. So now you have a lot of different options here. How to use Luca Seahorse Pro, how to clean Luca Seahorse Pro, how to use Seahorse Luca, how to unclog a Luca Seahorse, how to clean Luca Seahorse Pro coil. So now I have a lot of different content ideas um, this could all be one blog post about cleaning a Luca, and I add these different variations um, in the blog so in, in, in some way, right? But you want to make sure that it doesn't look funky, right? <laughs> and so maybe pick a few of these and add them to the blog. Um, another thing you can do is you can put Y, right? Why is my Luca Seahorse blinking yellow? Why is my Luca Seahorse blinking? All these are great topic ideas. So now the next blog is about, you know, maybe a Luca Seahorse that's acting up, right? The product is acting up and this is what they're dealing with. So you have to find the answer and um, create that blog post with the answer, right? So we have, we tried why, we tried how, we can also try where. Where is Luca Glass made? Where to buy Luca Seahorse? Um, those are some options. So we just use different words at the beginning of the phrase, right? So these are, they call them different search modifiers. Uh, so we used how, where, why, you know, how to. Um, you can give that a shot and see how that works for you. But this is definitely a great way to find different topic ideas. Um, and it's free, right? You can also, um, as you can see, I have keywords everywhere on, so it tells me the search volume. So if I go back to how, 
I can see that 320 uh, people per month search this. So people in the U.S. because I have U.S. turned on here, right? So if you turn on your keyboards everywhere, you can see what the volume for the question that's being asked, right? So that's extremely helpful, turning on keywords everywhere, right? So if I go back to, let's say, another brand that I sell their products, Freeze Pipe, and I turn, let's see, we'll try how. So how to clean Freeze Pipe. Um, hopefully these are all related to the bong, which I believe it is. So, uh, but these don't have any search volume, which means what? People are not, there's, there's no search volume behind this. So, and that's all good, right? Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Let's try concentrate containers. And we'll put the word how or where. So where to buy concentrate containers. Uh, we have where to buy glass food storage, which is something that I could op optimize for as well because the jars that I sell could easily be for food, right? Um, I've sold a lot to different types of businesses. So, uh, but the point is that you can find um, content ideas using Google for free. And if you turn on, turn on keywords everywhere, then you can see the search volume behind whatever the question is, right? Whatever question you're going to answer. All right, that's it. All right, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload videos about digital marketing and SEO that will help you to scale your store faster. And I'm also giving away a free ebook titled The No Fail, Get More, Repeat Customer System. This ebook will teach you how to increase your average order value, your customer purchase frequency, and your conversion rate. Um, and it's for free. So you can find the link for this ebook in the description below.